You're a small company, you've got intellectual property, and you think that you can sell out to a large corporation. But just how big do you need to be in order to be effective in making that sale work? If you've got an underlying asset or capability which could be exploited by a large organisation, either to protect their existing revenue or to generate new revenue, then the one thing that you've got to be able to offer them is sufficient capacity and capability for them to be able to realise that opportunity. So if you're simply too small, if the product or service is not prepared in such a way that it can optimise the opportunity for the buyer, then there's little point in the buyer buying you. Or if they do buy you, they've got to spend additional funds and take time in order to put the product or service or capability into a form that it will solve their problem. And what we know about investment value is that the longer it takes for the benefit to be realised, the smaller the present value, the smaller the investment that the buyer would be prepared to make in order to acquire that capacity or capability. So in determining how big you need to be, you need to be big enough that you can transition capability and capacity into the buyer so the buyer can quickly exploit whatever the potential or the opportunity in the deal is. If you're too small, you're going to waste time and money. Or if you're too small, they will potentially just simply walk away from the deal. So, do you need to be bigger than that? Well, any additional revenue or additional profit or additional customers or additional staff that you have over and above the critical point may not add any value at all to the value on sale. If what you're offering is something that can be transitioned into a large corporation and they have a customer base which is 20 times or 200 times what you've got and they've got an established distribution channel and they've got the funding to make it work, then any size that you've got above what you need to have in order to make the opportunity work for them simply doesn't add any value to the deal. So when you're told that you need to grow bigger, that you need more customers, that you need to be more profitable, that may not apply at all when it comes to a strategic deal. You just simply need to be big enough to make it work for the buyer.